NBC Universal is gifting Universal City a well-needed facelift. Parent company Comcast is making the $1.6 billion investment. The investment is known as the NBC Universal Evolution Plan. But how will the NBC Universal Evolution Plan affect the community? NBC Universal will invest more than $100 million in transit and transportation to ease traffic. First up is the Universal City Pedestrian Bridge. The bridge will join the MTA Universal City Red Line Metro Stop and the southeast corner of Lancashire Boulevard and Universal Hollywood Drive. It would be it, it would be helpful that way we don't have to you know wait for the the crosswalk and the, the lights. Um, it's not needed. I, I don't think it's like a it's a necessary thing, but it'll definitely be helpful. The plan will also result in new job creation and economic growth throughout Southern California. Over 30,000 jobs will be created during construction and operations. New sound stages and post-production facilities are being planned. By creating new and improved facilities, NBC Universal is hoping production dollars stay right here in LA. Two new 500 room hotels will join both the Sheraton Universal and the Hilton. NBC Universal began the expansion of Universal Studios Hollywood last summer. The expansion will be built with union labor to keep high wage production and tourism jobs here in Los Angeles. New attractions at the theme park will be built on the experience that makes Universal Studios Hollywood the entertainment capital of LA. The lovable yellow minions are ready for a close up. I spoke to Trinae Pitham, senior manager of publicity at Universal Studios Hollywood. The most exciting change we have coming is the opening of the Spickle Me Minion Mayhem, which opens in spring of this year. And it's going to be accompanied by Super Silly Funland, which is an outdoor play experience, and Flat Ride, that's exclusive to Universal Studios Hollywood. The iconic Gibson Amphitheater at City Walk closed last September. I asked her why. Well, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter was announced a couple of years ago. We're highly anticipating that attraction, and the Gibson Amphitheater is the former space of what will be the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. In Universal City, Eddie Gaona, Valley View News.